Welcome to N4 Electro Techniques, and in this lesson, we'll be looking at capacitors. Now, there are many different types of capacitors, such as non electrolytic capacitors, which could be made of mica, paper, polyester, or polystyrene. To define a farad, one farad is that capacitance which will accumulate a charge of one coulomb when connected across a voltage of one volt. A capacitor is created out of two metal plates and an insulating material called a dielectric. Here we have the dielectric material, the terminals of the capacitor, and the plates that make up the capacitor. Now to refresh our memory of the different quantities and units to do the calculations that are coming up, everything to the left of the number line is positive, and everything to the right of the number line is negative. 10 to the 3 is kilo. 10 to the 6 is mega, 10 to the 9 is giga, and 10 to the 12 is tera. 10 to the minus 3 is milli, 10 to the minus 6 is micro, 10 to the minus 9 is nano, and 10 to the minus 12 is pico. Looking at this formula and the function of each component in the formula, C is the capacitance in farads, Q is the amount of charge in coulomb, and V is the voltage across the plates and voltage. If we are given a capacitance of 20 picofarad, which is 20 times 10 to the minus 12, and a voltage of 240 volts, what will be the charge in coulombs? The capacitance is 20 times 10 to the minus 12, and the voltage is 240, and we end up with 4,8 times 10 to the minus 9 coulomb which is the same as saying 4,8 nanocoulombs. Right, if we are given a charge of 1,200 microcoulomb, which is the same as saying 1,200 times 10 to the minus 6, how much will the capacitance be? So the charge is 1,200 times 10 to the minus 6 divided by the voltage of 12 volts and we end up with 100 microfarad. In this formula, to calculate the generated EMF, it is a half times the capacitance times the voltage square. If the capacitance is 100 microfarad, which is the same as saying 100 times 10 to the minus 6, and the voltage of 12 volts, if we substitute those values, we end up with a generated EMF of 7,2 millivolts. Here we have three capacitors connected in series. Now, capacitors in series, we use the formula as though they were resistors in parallel. We've got a 2 microfarad, a 4 microfarad, and an 8 microfarad capacitor connected in series. Therefore, we say 1 over C1 plus 1 over C2 plus 1 over C3, all to the power of minus 1 in order to invert the answer. Therefore, 1 over 2 plus 1 over 4 plus 1 over 8, all to the power of minus 1, is equal to 1,143 microfarad. Here's a previous exam type question. Two capacitors, each having a potential difference of 500 volts and 250 volts, respectively connected in series. Calculate the total capacitance and the capacitance across each capacitor if a charge of 1,500 microcoulomb is measured across the capacitors. So here we have C1 and C2 connected in series with a volt drop across each capacitor and 1,500 microcoulomb. To calculate C1 will be the charge over V1. The charge is 1,500 microcoulomb divided by 250 volts and we end up with 6 microfarad. To calculate C2, it'll be the charge over V2. The charge is 1,500 microcoulomb divided by 500 volts. Therefore, C2 is 3 microfarad. Now, to calculate the total capacitance, we say 1 over C1 plus 1 over C2, all to the power of minus 1 in order to invert the answer. 1 over 6 plus 1 over 3 to the power of minus 1 will give us a total capacitance of 2 microfarad. Now, when calculating the total capacitance of uh, capacitors connected in parallel, it is very similar or the same formula as resistors connected in 
series. So to calculate the total capacitance, it's C1 plus C2 plus C3. If the values of the uh, capacitors are 1, 6, and 20 microfarad, we would add them together, and the total capacitance would be 27 microfarad. Thank you very much for watching these videos. Don't forget to hit the like button, to hit the subscribe button, and to share these videos. Thank you very much.